Hello everyone and welcome once again to Primetime. I'm your host Beverly. As we know, the lighted parade always is the first thing that happens to really get us into the carnival spirit. So if you want to know a lot of what's going to be happening for the lighted parade this year, stay tuned and we'll be right back for This is Primetime. At Najiko, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going, even after an accident happens on site. At Najiko, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Telcel, when you Want more? Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us as usual. We're always happy to have you with us. Today we have the president of the Rio Productions and that is uh, my friend Brenda Watty. And we know that she's a lady who's made the lighted parade here in St. Martin um, a famous to do. So thank you very much, Brenda, for joining us on the program. Uh, thank you for having me, Bev. Um, this is, uh, it's always a treat to come on. I don't, I see you regularly, mm -hmm. but it's rare that I actually get on to the program. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. And so now we start, that's what I said. Actually, to me, Carnival really starts when we start off with a lighted parade. Is there a particular reason why you started up started so early? Because it's going to be on April 1st. Well, actually, it has a lot to do with the Lenten season. Right. Um, and as you get further down into the Lenten season, you're cutting into the, the more... Mm -hmm. you know holy week, uh, holy week and mm -hmm. and the bigger holidays so uh this year we decided that it would be you know earlier on in the in the season uh, lent nonetheless but uh early in in lent so that it doesn't get too close to easter and and good friday and holy thursday and mm -hmm. stuff like that yeah. so that that was really the reason the reason and, and let me tell you it's it's been quite a scramble because it it our, our lighted parade normally kicks off on or about the 14th or the 15th of april so right. oh, typically we have a, this year. Yeah, typically we would have another two weeks mm -hmm. of of you know pr preparation time mm -hmm. um, for the parade. But um, it is what it is, and we're ready. Uh -huh. We're ready. People are ready. Yes. Um, go, let's go back in retrospect a little bit to when you first started mm -hmm. and to where it is today. Is it yeah. six years later? Six years later. Mm -hmm. Six years later. Um, somebody, I think it was Lady Grace this mor uh, the other morning, uh, Friday morning, was asking me, you know, uh, you know, how did it start? And um, it actually came uh, from a trip to, to Aruba, oh, right. um, and I saw saw what they did with the lighted parade, and it's it's huge down there. Uh, it's a real parade, mm -hmm. you know. So the first time I tried it, I thought, okay, well, it it let's see how this works. And um, it, you know, two three hundred people, and I was satisfied. I said, okay, this is you know yeah. a small group for mm -hmm. me in the day. This could work. Uh, the next year, it doubled, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. You know, and, and then I realized, okay, so I'm onto something here. And, you know, when there's people on Bush Road to see you at night, right. then you're saying, okay, we're, we're, well, definitely something, something's happening here. That it is absolutely beautiful to see what people do it with their T-shirts and the lighting of what they've done. It it's is absolutely gorgeous. People become very creative, mm -hmm. you know, and that's the idea. And, and originally what I was hoping was that everybody would eventually transition into lighted costumes. And that's taken a little longer than I would have wanted to, to, to catch on. But um, it is nonetheless, it's, it's something that um, it's, it's growing, growing quite steadily. Um, and people are very creative with their with their outfits, mm -hmm. you know, with their with their their shirts and and I mean I've yeah. I've had mine prepared. Mm -hmm. I, I called uh, Glennis last week and uh -huh. said, Glennis, please come and see me, and she did. And then I have a team at, at work that does the bling, and then I get together uh, to, to do the final steps with my girlfriends, yeah. uh -huh. and you know, so it's 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 really a, quite a production. It is. And so tell us how the numbers grew and how many T-shirts did you order this year? Um, if you had liberty to say, we're yeah. 
well, we're we're preparing for 2000, um, and mm -hmm. the reason we're doing that is because um, NBA, which is nothing but alcohol, yeah, they came on board this year. NBA has a really really big following of their own. Right. That you know they do a juve band and, mm -hmm. and right, stuff, and true. they've got a big a big following. So um, with NBA on board, I figured, okay, well, you know, we they they've got about 800 people for juve. So I said, well, some of those people will you know obviously be Want part of the lighted mm -hmm. parade, but they will also be new ones to the parade. Mm -hmm. So we're catering for 2000. Don't know if we'll sell all, um, but I am down to my last shipment, which arrived on Friday mm -hmm. and are officially on sale. And after this is done, there is no more mm -hmm. because Saturday is the parade. I remember last year you did um, the special. Um, the special pricing, the VIP section, and so yeah. if, are you going to have that again this year? No, that didn't work <clears throat> very well last year. It didn't mm -hmm. work. As a matter of fact, it didn't work at all. Mm -hmm. um, I got a lot of complaints from the bartenders because, mm -hmm. um, you know, you yeah. have to keep track of who's oh, wearing right. what shirt. Exactly. And um, even, even you know, the revelers, it, it, mm -hmm. it became a little complicated. And uh, if you didn't have the right shirt but ordered the wrong drink, right. that became a problem. Yeah. So we decided, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll dress back simple. a little bit, mm -hmm. make it simple, uh, and $45.00. You got your shirt. You got your 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 the pass lights. to the to the mm -hmm. to the parade mm -hmm. yeah. and free drinks, uh, free drinks all night long. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yeah. yeah. And so um, people keep asking that um, the route has changed. Is it shorter? So let, well, let's it's, it's just really clarify not. this once and for all. Yeah, and it's it's really not shorter. Um, you know, typically we would we would leave from Fergus. Um, and unfortunately, to get out of the Fergus yard sometimes becomes very difficult. Mm -hmm. And then we go, we head to Grand Marche. But even there, now that the parade has grown to such an extent, mm -hmm. there's very little place for people to park, very right. little place for, you know, for people to gather. So mm -hmm. we decided, you know what, we're going to leave from the Ring Road, which is across from the Sports Auditorium, right. and we will end at the Ring Road, which means that when we depart, we depart and we get straight into Phillipsburg, which is where people want to be in the first place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, and people say, is this shorter because it took up that big piece? Not really, mm -hmm. not really. And and Bush Road, really, there's very little going on on Bush Road, it's, uh, only for the, for the beginning when mm -hmm. there's, there's you know, a substantial crowd. Um, but there's very little going on on Bush Road until you hit the bridge. That's true. And we typically used to end at Telem. Right, right, right on the pond that. field yes, and, and right and, close and to the, the police station. Yes. Now we're ending at the ring road, so it's really a, a fairly big loop. And last year, it, it took us the better part of the night to get there. If you know, if you remember that right. that last year we ended up, you know, back at the ring road, and it took us a long time to get there. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 a good it's a good parade. How challenging is it? Um, to put on the, per, this parade year after year, the lighted parade? It's, it's not that it's, it's a lot of, it's not challenging really because I'm, I'm used to it. Right. I know what needs to be done at what point it needs to be done and who needs to get involved to do it. The problem is, is that there, it is a lot of work. And unless you have, and I say this all the time, mm -hmm. and I've, I've got some of the best uh, staff yeah. um, this side of the Mississippi, let mm -hmm. me tell you, mm -hmm. because uh, despite all the preparations for the parade, work continues as, as usual. usual. In the office, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. my uh -huh. office work yeah. continues as usual. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, um, we decided that tomorrow we're going to come in at uh, quarter to seven so mm -hmm. that we can have some quiet time to get other work done, done right. you know? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of work. It's not necessarily challenging mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we know what to do, when to do, and who to call to do right. it, but it, it is a lot of work. A lot of know? details to cover. A lot of details. Okay, we'll, when, we'll take a break now. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about that and also the fact that you are coming back in the, um, the big parade yes. um, during the day. Yes. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. This is Prime Time. People all across St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles Credit Card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to My Card worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. At Travel Planners, we love what we do. Every day, we help our clients plan their vacations. 
From honeymoons to family reunions, trade shows to conventions, school trips to sports tournaments, our agents at Travel Planners can help you make better, wiser decisions on travel destinations and cruises and find you the lowest fares. Make some memories with help from Travel Planners in Phillipsburg and on the Airport Road, Simpson Bay. Visit our website at Planners SXM and like us on Facebook at St. Martin Travel Planners. We take care of all your travel needs. A cruise is a great adventure. Not only for passengers, also for us. The Port of St. Martin. Our port always reflected the needs and aspirations of the time. From the first to the 1.75 millionth passenger in 2013. Our cruise story started in 1963 with our first cruise passenger. 50 great years later, 20 million passengers later, thousands of cruise berths later, we've become the leading port in the Caribbean. 50 fantastic years, like a dream. The dream of Port St. Martin lives on and reinvents itself every day. The best is yet to come. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. This is Prime Time. I'm speaking to Brenda Watty and she is the president of Rio Productions that puts on the Lighted Parade for the last six years. Um, where do we get the ideas for the presentation? Because this year it says glow with the flow. Right. Right. Um, that actually uh, came from uh, the designers that did the costumes last year for the night parade. Um, right, I remember you had yes. costumes for the night parade last year. Correct. Right. And right after that, they sent me an email after they had seen the videos and stuff like that. They said, you know what, um, let's, let's come with a theme because they thought that we would do again, you know, per, costumes. Uh, costumes for the night. Let's come with a theme called Glow with the Flow. And we'll use the bioluminescent, um, um, you know, naturally occurring um, mm -hmm. water lights. Yeah. So they're, they're little animals that basically light up in the right. water. Mm -hmm. And we'll use that as the, as the basis of our, our theme. And I said, oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, so glow with the flow. And it stuck. So that's why it's called glow with the flow. Unfortunately, we're not doing costumes. Right. Right. But... Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, it's fine because a lot of people do do their own thing, and like I said, they're very creative with their shirts. So um, it's going to be that's beautiful. good enough. Yeah. Oh yeah. So when do you really start preparing? Um, um, so you you in the first of April, you would have started when? Um, I we had our first meeting um, with the, the the sponsors in in January, and I and I don't want to refer to them as sponsors anymore because yeah. while they do sponsor, they're more like partners mm -hmm. in the in the night parade. Um, Caribbean Liquors, Antillian, um, uh, Caribbean Liquors, uh, UTS, um, Soggy Dollar, and now NBA. Um, Ocean Seven is also on board with the marketing and Artemia. So I I, I don't I don't like to refer to them as sponsors right. anymore because they really are partners they mm -hmm. come to the table and they actually have good con contribution Absolutely. to make um, not just a contribution by, by by funds but you know good ideas after after the uh, the lighted parade we always come back and we have a post con mm -hmm. meeting um, we've had several pre con meetings um, so they're they're really partners in in this project in this uh, this parade um, NBA has been great those guys are, are crazy about the marketing efforts as well um, so I'm we're really looking forward to something very very exciting this year I'm sure everybody was wondering so Betty you've uh, asked all the pertinent questions you didn't ask about the music oh my goodness oh, yes. the music mm -hmm. so um, I hired immediately after last year I hired small acts and the reason for that was they were so the other very yes yes they were mm -hmm. they, they are just so very popular and uh, one of the, the sound uh, technicians said to me, Bren, uh, get these guys, if you're going to get them for next year, get them now. Because they're, they're becoming very popular, popular and it's going to be increasingly difficult to get them. Mm -hmm. I said, good idea. And I booked them. I booked them immediately. I think in June we spoke. Wow. Done. Um, soggy Dollar ba band Bar, you know, they come mm -hmm. on board every year um, now for the last, this will be their second year actually. And I don't know if you saw their, their, uh, their trailer. Yes. I, I, man, that, that trailer was inspected mm -hmm. on, on Saturday. 
it just blows yeah. you out of the water. Yeah. Blows you. I can I can only imagine what that trailer is going to look like with the lights on it. Beautiful. And so then we we signed with with uh, NBA, which is nothing but alcohol. All right. And when they came on board, they said, you know, we've already chosen our band. Um, and I said, okay, what's that? Mm -hmm. They said Grandmasters. I said, fabulous, because mm -hmm. that's also from, that's a, the, the band from St. Kitts as also well. Also from St. Kitts. Also from St. Kitts. Mm -hmm. One <clears throat> is the 26, 2015 Carnival uh, Road March Kings. Right. And the one, the other one is the 2016 okay. Carnival Road March Kings. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to make for a very interesting night. That, that's for sure. And what about the DJs? Because, you know, we've seen a demise of um, musical bands and parades and carnival in more Trinidad. More and more. More yeah, and you're more. Not even seeing here. You, even they, they, here. Everybody's using the DJs. Yeah. You having any DJs? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, well through, through Soggy Dollar Bar. Right, um, right. They've got, um, they got their DJs on, on board. Uh, and last year, we, we didn't know what to expect from DJs right. for the Lighted Parade. Okay. And we were very happy with the turnout. We were very happy with the results of it, which, of course, um, made it easy for them to come back this year. Great. And so tell us now, so after you finish April 1st with the Lighted Parade and, and all the yeah. lovely T-shirts and so on, then you have to switch gears and you yeah. decided to go back into daytime carnival. Yeah. Yeah, what were, you think? what were you thinking? I know, right? <laughs> yes. Well, I um I was on on hiatus for about three years, and yeah. and one of the three years I stayed out, and the other three years I I played with uh, the other two years, sorry, I played with other other mm -hmm. um uh, troop leaders, um and what I realized was that um I was more worried, um playing with other people, you know. Am I going to get to drink? Am I going to get to eat? Am I going to have fun? Is the music going to be good? You know, and then and the, the thing is, is that eventually, yes, I was having fun, and yes, I was eating, and yes, I was drinking, mm -hmm. and all was well. But I was putting myself through so much stress, stress and so much pressure um, that I decided, you know what? Let me just put something together, something small, something intimate. I'm used to doing 250, 300 people, um, something small, intimate. I decided 100 people, not more. Um, did the, the official announcement. Um, the band, is co of course, is called Secrets. And um, they put it on Facebook. And in two weeks, I said to Pat, uh, Pat, let's go through the measurements because I've got to send these things down to Trinidad. Let's get crack a And I started counting. And I was at 95. And then I was at 100. And then I was at 105. And then I was 115. Oh and then I was God. 120. Yeah. And I hadn't counted myself. So I said, you know something? Pat, we have to stop. stop. Stop, yeah. because I don't want to be 200. We're going to stop it. It was supposed to be 100 people. So that's, that's essentially where, where that, that came from. It was just pressure on myself. How, how um, do you say no to me? I've played with you, for example. Exactly. I've played with you all the years, out of exactly. the 350, and all of a sudden you exactly. come to your office and you say yeah. there's no space. Exactly. How have you been dealing that with people? Um, well, what, what, what we did is a lot of the, 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 the revelers that have played with me before mm -hmm. just simply migrated back. And some who didn't come is because they're comfortable elsewhere. Right. Um, but so uh, I mean, I got, I got, I got a, most of my people back immediately. Yeah. So that was that was good. I mean, that was that was nice um, to a to see familiar faces. Right. Um, and I think what it is, Bev, it, it has a lot to do with the fact that when people are used to a certain standard of costume, of service, of yeah. quality, of mm -hmm. you know this and that, it it was an easy sell. The organization. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was an easy sell. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so hold that thought and we will be right back in a moment. Don't forget you can look at this program and all of the programs on YouTube and on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back in a moment with much more. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you whether in person, over the phone or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. 
Save some green with NVGEBE. The Daily Herald is my first source for up-to-date information and news. Putting together this program of prime time requires research and knowledge of current events. For local news, regional and international news, do read the Daily Herald. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell Cell when you want more. And so, Bren, the big word, safety. Yes. All right, let's touch this lighted parade first. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, Bev, one of the, the, um, one of the biggest selling factors, I believe, yeah. uh, for the lighted parade, and mm -hmm. there's several, but one of the biggest selling factors is the, the, the safety element. Um, first of all, it's a grown event, um, and, you know, the, the, the people that participate in, in the parade themselves are, are you know, they're, they're grown-ups, and, yeah. they're, you know, they're very poised, and they're having fun, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, um, it's a controlled environment. Um, we have, uh, I think they said 40 or uh, 45 or 50 police officers that will be on duty that night okay. and I always double what the officers are going to do by putting on the same amount in security. In private security. In right. private security. Mm -hmm. So that there's always ample um, uh, security measures in, in place, you know. Um, the, the, it's a, it's a, a roped off um, a right. affair. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm telling everybody, if you are coming to the parade and you want to be in the parade, your t-shirt is the ticket, ticket. to the parade. Right. Without your t-shirt, you will not be in the parade. Mm -hmm. It's quite clear. Um, and, and every year there's somebody that tries, you know, of course, to, to you, and I understand how that works. I mean, I, you know, if I go to see a parade in the music suite, I jam in on the side, mm -hmm. but I'm on the side. Um, so we, we, again, that's a very, very important factor, a, a very big selling factor is, for us is, is the security. Right. And now, um, as you said, the entrance. Um, so we're going to go back a little bit. And you talked about secrets. Yes. But are you going to really keep it a secret? Or are you going to give, give us a, a few hints as to what we can expect for Carnival 2017 yes. in the day parade? Yeah. Well, actually, Bev, the, the, the name of it is, is called Secrets. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a play on words. Yeah. But it is based on the Victoria Secrets wings. Uh, wow. The wings of the mm -hmm. of the runway that show, runway for, show. It, yes. correct for mm -hmm. Victoria's Secrets, um, and I've I've actually what's really uh, an, uh, something very different for me this year is that I have hired two different sets of mask makers because the time was so very short in Trinidad, right. uh -huh. uh, the Trinidad right. Carnival very ended mm -hmm. very late, right. and not only that because of the way the Easter holidays fall mm -hmm. in Trinidad, the container has to leave about the fourteenth of April. Which wow, means so that I've, I've got two weeks of production mm -hmm. left, mm -hmm. which means that if I don't get that in, you know, they won't be here on time. So I hired this time two um, design um, houses, one Gregory and Christopher, who've, right. who've done my, my, my parades, my special pieces for the last 16, 17 years. Right. And the newer, um, the newer guys, which is Alicia and Dellen, um, they came on now, this will be their third time with me. And so they're doing, they're doing some of the costumes as well. Um, it's all going to be based, of course, on the wings, the concept of wings, wow. um, wicked wings, wicked angels, heavenly angels. Uh, oh, like so it's, it's all, you uh -huh. know, different sections. Um, but all based on wings, on wings. and so all very different. Or everybody's going to be carrying a wing on their back. Yes, yes. Angel wings uh, um, wow. in different forms, shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, some up, some down, some to the side. I mean, it's wow. it's going That's to be amazing. fabulous. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is there space for body painting in that? Absolutely. Um, James mm -hmm. uh, is is coming. James mm -hmm. has been with me now. I yeah. would say for about ten years. Right. Um, he's coming. Um, he's arriving with the designers actually, and will be here for the duration. And we what we 
typically do is we have a we make a night of it. And this time we're going down to a bar. We're going down to Rusty Rocket right. down on the Simpson Bay stretch, and we're going to set up the, the spray painting stations there. Um, oh, and that, that, so we're going to actually yeah. turn that into a mini fete. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, so the night uh, the night before uh, spray right. painting galore, yeah. and uh, it'll it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Wow, wow. looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. And also we're going back a little bit now to the lighted parade, mm -hmm. um, and that's going to be in the next couple of days. Yeah. Um, so tell us about t-shirts, where we can find them, and um, okay, all the so, little um, so the things last, you're tying up. Yeah, the last shipment that just just arrived the other day, um, it's it's now officially on sale. We we replenish the ones at UTS uh, the, today actually. So UTS has Soggy Dollar Bar has um, Van Dorp both locations. So if you if you're in Simpson Bay, you don't want to come uh -huh. across. You, you can go to there Sam. Too. Yes, you uh -huh. can go to the the. Uh, the um, Van Dorp down in Simpson Bay, uh, Caribbean Liquors has, um, and my office. You mm -hmm. know, so there are five retail outlets, and of course, if you know members of the NBA band, you can call them, and they will they will um, they will contact us for the T-shirts, and you can get them directly from them. So, what is your starting time? Eight o'clock. I know. M sharp. punto. Yeah, yeah. You, you, if you snooze, you lose. We leave in there eight o'clock, and and one of the reasons we were late last year actually is because we could not get out. There was a car blocking us at the Fergus parking lot, so we right. could not get out of the exit. Right. Now there's no there's no there's no worry about that. We will be leaving. The, the vehicles are going to be inspected from high day, and uh, we will be leaving at eight p.m. sharp. We, you know, we've been having some pre-carnival jump ups recently with a lot of young people, a lot of youths. Right. Um, are you all going to be taking an extra special eye on that? Um, when you say an extra special eye, of is then in, trying to get, as you, you all mentioned, of them trying to get in. Or well, you know, as, you know, spectators are, mm -hmm. are spectators. Mm -hmm. they, they, there's a reason why they don't want to get in, or they don't want to, they don't want to participate. And some of it is that they don't really feel in the mood, right. whatever. But Unfortunately, when the band passes and the music hit them, you know, they, they, want, they, want, they, want, the they take a little jig. Mm -hmm. As long as they stay on the side, they're cool. Mm -hmm. All your secrets. Thank you. About yes. secrets <laughs> and your glow with the flow, which is upcoming this Saturday. Thank you. Um, go out and have some fun. Um, one of these days, you must give a prize for the best decorated T-shirts because people really go out yeah, you're and above right. for that. You know what, what the challenge with that is? Is that on that night, uh -huh. it means that you would have to have, you know, you'd mm -hmm. have to then in, install several judges right. and you'd have yeah. to have them looking throughout mm -hmm. and you know that people would have to be pinned with numbers and that would be another, another layer uh, that would be yeah, another, another layer, layer which yeah. at this point now i'm <laughs> layered out space, yeah. i'm layered out <laughs> thanks so much and have a thank safe you. carnival thank you so very much this has been prime time uh, see you next week and may god bless you